of education. We will start the question and answer section of this evening's program. We welcome Sheikh Yusuf Estes back to the stage and Dr. Mahou Salah. In Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. We have, we're very privileged, by the way, to, to, <laughs> to have with us Dr. Muhammad Salah, who happens to be a dear friend of mine. And more than a friend, I, I adopted him as my son. Okay, whatever. Anyhow, uh, we, we've known each other for many years. We were in Texas together in different places. Allah keeps bringing us together for his sake, and I consider it a big honor and a treat for me just to have the chance to be with him. If you haven't watched Huda TV, we've got a, a little promo up here. You can see it. It says Huda, and he is the one, one of the main attractions, actually, because he has a program called Ask Huda, and people can actually call in on the telephone while well, they're broadcasting, ask their questions, and then he answers the questions from Islamic points of view, especially in areas when people want to ask about fiqh, the understanding of Islam, etc. Uh, he has another program, Correct Your Recitation, for the Quran students, and he helps them with that. If you notice in his speech, he was giving us a lovely recitation of Quran. Every time he referred to the Quran, you got to hear him uh, recite in this beautiful way. Well, he can help you do the same thing with the Quran. He memorized the entire Quran when he was very young, and mashallah, we we're just uh, we we're so happy to have him and scholars like him. His brother also is another one who's memorized the Quran. He's the Imam in Houston now, and so this is a blessed family, and uh, we're very happy to have him with us. We're gonna we're gonna actually impose on our Sheikh right now to answer some questions. Yes, this one is very much on on point because you're you're talking about my subject that I just did. And you said, if God can do everything and created everything, can God tell lies? No, no, it's a good question. It's a good question. Because this is a question, actually, that was asked of the Greek scholars many centuries, millenniums ago. They were asked an identical question, if God can do anything and everything, then can he do some of these things, such as, and lies uh, is one. Another one would be cheat. Another would be to steal. Another one would be to uh, change his mind. Another one is, could God die? Mm. All of these questions are legitimate. They are coming from people who don't know, and they should be told. And of course, what we will Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. I have with me now Brother Wa'il Ibrahim and Brother Farooq Abbasi from Serving Islam Team. I would like to start by asking Brother Wa'il, since you've been witnessing this event for the past one year, we've been planning for it. Alhamdulillah, it is a success from what people have told us. What are you planning to do next year, inshallah, to make it an even better event? Uh, inshallah, it's not my plan. It's our plan. Inshallah, we, we are planning to do something even bigger. You know, my jealousy for this deen begins when I saw this Christian square thing. And I saw the Buddhist square thing. But we don't have any Muslim square. Do you wish to have a Muslim square? Absolutely. So that's my wish, inshallah, for next year. When Sheikh Yusuf Estes came here and uh, Dr. Muhammad Salah, and they have, uh, alhamdulillah, we have seen the thirst for knowledge from the people who have attended these lectures, makes me even more jealous for this deen. And inshallah, we are, we are promising the Muslims of Hong Kong and non-Muslims to provide even inshallah more scholars on a regular base, not just uh, yearly, but inshallah every two or three months. Inshallah. Brother Farooq, I would like to ask you a different question. You've been inside the rooms for us when we were planning this event. How does it actually work? Who's taking the decisions? Who's organizing it? Who actually is behind all this effort? <laughs> Can I begin now? <laughs> okay. Um, what I have seen so far, you know, I've been with many organizations, but what I've seen so far is uh, that in this place with Serving Islam team, we are a uh, linear hierarchy organization. We are all the same, we all work together, and our goal is to spread the word of Islam. And that's where our focus is. 
And uh, we have done our best and, you know, I think we are very successful at keeping things, uh, what they call in U.S., red taped. We're trying to remove as much red tape as possible and just work together for the same goal so that there's really no hierarchy in uh, serving Islam team. We're all members of this team and we're a young organization and we encourage other community members and people to join hands with us and really come together for the sake of Islam and spread the truth that we all know. I moved to Hong Kong only seven months ago and I was looking for an organization that I could work with to uh, spread the word of Islam and alhamdulillah my uh, dua I guess came true when I met these guys and my you know my expectation was that I'll be just uh, someone working with the organization and I won't really have any say in it but contrary to the fact I just met them they, we were total strangers but alhamdulillah uh, these brothers gave me the courtesy that is due in Islam which is we, I was able to contribute with my thoughts, with my efforts, as much as possible. And I feel like I've been part of this organization from the very beginning, even though I've been with them only a few months. So that is a big plus. Faruqi told me something that uh, whenever I remember it, it boosts my morale. It makes me even you know, more eager to go and do some work for Islam. You said that you've been uh, here for about six to seven months, and you have witnessed more Shahada Actually, you know, that's true. Yeah, can you uh, say I, that in, in your <laughs> terms? Your <laughs> okay, uh, that's that's a good reminder. While thank you very much, um, I've been in U.S. for over 15 years, and of course, uh, I've the rest of my life before that in Pakistan, and in my entire life, uh, I have not seen as many people enter Islam as I have in the past seven months. In the past five months, really, I have witnessed more people come into Islam than I have in my entire life and that feeling I can I can speak about it in words but I all I only know what it feels in the heart alhamdulillah I'm very thankful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he has given us this opportunity and it is only because of the creator that that we're going through this experience alhamdulillah you know I uh, I always remember the hadith or the narration of the companions who said that we were submissive until Umar al Khattab, may Allah be pleased with her, embrace Islam. People used to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in secret until Umar al Khattab embraced Islam. It was the first time in the history of the Muslims to worship Allah publicly when Umar al Khattab embraced Islam. I always say the serving Islam team, I have to give him the credit, this guy. <laughs> no, Wallahi, Wallahi, it should be on the tape. I, this is what I'm saying. Wild doesn't have to say anything, I will speak for Wild. Uh, Brother Atallah, uh, who is right here, is a is a dear friend now. Uh, we've been friends only brother. for a few. Oh, let me get to that. <laughs> let me get to that. We're of course brothers in in the faith, but you know he has really become a good friend, and in a short period of time, which is really hard to find in this day and age. You know, you you see people that are not really true to what they what they are doing, and I can speak for Brother Weil. Mashallah, he's dedicated. He's, uh, as they say in America, he's gung-ho about, you know, getting work done. He, he is on a mission and he is accomplishing things. And if it wasn't uh, for his overall leadership and, and support, uh, I don't think we would be able to, you know, hit the, hit the, hit the pavement and, and start. Can I ask him a question now? Can I? What's your plan? What's your feeling? Well, actually, what are we we're. Going are we going to give up? No, well, we're not going to give up. And actually, this is what I wanted to tell everyone watching this video: whether you are based in Hong Kong or outside Hong Kong, we need your support. Well, like all your brothers and sisters in every single part around the world, they do need your support. What we're seeing here in Hong Kong is not just new; even it's there in our own Muslim countries. People do need the support, but the Muslims they just need to start interacting. They start to need. They start to. They have to start engaging with the people around them and do something for their for their religion. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has told the Prophet Muhammad sallam to inform us that on the day of judgment every single person will be asked, What have you done for Islam? What have you done for Islam? This is the question that we are trying to prepare an answer for, and no matter what we do, wallahi, no matter what we do, we will never be able to give Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala a valid answer on the day of judgment. All I'm asking you and myself and my brothers over here is to always have this question in mind and inshallah I'll try to do something for Islam.
السلام عليكم شيخ يوسف اسس اند دكتور محمد صلاح مايت بي فيري هانجري ناو وي هاف تو راش جيت ذيم سم ميلز بت بيفور وي اند ذيس بيوتيفول ديسكشن اي وونت تو ريمايند اول ذا فيورز سبيشلي ذوز هو ار ان هونغ كونغ ذات سيرفينج اسلام تيم كوندكت ريجولار كلاسز وين از ذات ساندي ساندي اوكي 11 تو 1 اي ويل تيك ات فروم هير ات ساندي it's we didn't rehearse this by the way so this is great i think um uh, it's every sunday from 11 to 1 o'clock at oikon road 40 oikon road that's o i k w a n road oikon do uh in wan chai and uh, it's from 11 uh, to 1 o'clock and it's on the fourth floor inside the amar masjid so everyone is welcome it's open to public anyone is uh, muslims non muslims or people with all background they're welcome to come over and uh, listen to our talk right now we're doing a small discussion on ramadan until uh, the next two more weeks but after that we'll resume our uh, you know the islamic knowledge classes and then go from there inshallah thank you so much can i hug you guys on camera this is i think congratulations uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has told the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam to inform us that on the day of judgment every single person will be asked what have you done for Islam Allahu akbar Allahu akbar La